Are we broken enough for the situation to sit alone until God answers it? Or are we not even broken enough to put it on a list? Not to even casually mention it to Him in prayer once in a while. Are we broken enough that there's people in the city of Dover going straight to hell because churches in the city of Dover are not doing what they need to do? Are we that broken or are we just like, save the city? Are we broken enough that our family members may or may not be living the Christian walk that they're supposed to be living to the fullness of their ability? Or is it just whatever? Are we satisfied that we think, we think you might have a ticket? You say you have a ticket, but your fruit doesn't show me you got a ticket. So let me tell me how you got this ticket. Well, that's a counterfeit. Let me show you how you truly get a real ticket to heaven. Because how many counterfeit tickets does the enemy use? I'm good enough. I don't need to go to church. I can watch the guy on Sunday. Well, you can watch... I'm not going to pick on it because they will strike my YouTube channel. You can watch anybody over here every Sunday and never change. There's a lot of devil worshipers out there that watch Christian preachers because they like their motivation of speech. But never change. Because God has laid it on him for his benefit. Well, do not worry or be anxious about everything. And someone said, in everything, give thanks. Well, who burdened Jeremiah to write Jeremiah and Lamentations in such a way? Who did it? God did it. I want you to feel just a little bit of the way I feel for my nation. I feel this. God goes through. I, I've seen their affliction. I know they're in darkness. I know they think that I'm against them. I know they're shattered in, in their bitterness and they cry out and they feel that I've blocked all their prayers. They feel like they're torn to pieces. I know this. And a God that knows perfect emotion is trying to tell an imperfect human how to feel just a little bit the way he does that's fascinating because God has laid it on him for his benefit why did he give them why did he give Jeremiah that burden because he knew that burden would change him so that he would change others it's fascinating why would God lay a burden on on Elijah Elijah always gonna mix up to say we gonna take on the we're gonna take on those false prophets and we're gonna show you how good God is because he saw the, the the devastation that worshiping these false prophets was and he says God you need to take care of them because I sit quietly and I'm listening and you say you want me to go challenge them yes you have a burden for me to tell it not to rain why I don't know because I'm going to use it to change a nation back to me. Wait a minute. They're going to be mad at me because I told it not to rain for three and a half years. And they're mad at me because the drought's happening and bad things are happening. And God's like, don't let them be mad at you. Keep pointing to me. God told me to do it. Don't get mad at me. Those few moments when, when, when I'm sitting. And it used to happen a lot in youth ministry because I knew a lot more of the youth to be able to really fine tune it and I tried not to fine tune the message to one kid because I didn't want that to happen but usually God would do it anyway but then when I would say something that I knew was going to hit home and, it, and it, the enemy's going you should have said that they're going to know you're talking about them and I got to go well, I didn't say it the Holy Spirit said that so what am I worried about you got a problem go see, go see the father go see the judge Go see him. He said, he told me to say it. I'm just reading his report. And see, so you got to get to that place. Because in that moment, that mountain may need a hard... Right. You know, you're not living the way God wants you to live. And that's a nice way. He may need, since, you're the, you, since you are a parent and you're so close friend, he made you just go, wake up! Because you can get away with it. 
because they're going to come back to mom. They're going to come back to dad. They're going to come back to a relative. They're going to come back to a friend that's earned the right to call the hard stuff as it is. But I don't even know them. It's like if I walked over there, they'd be like, how dare you? That's what God's doing. So think about this next time you get a burden for the city, get a burden for a project, get a burden for someone. Ask God why He's doing it. Is He doing it so that you will be so burdened for that situation that you will change something? I'm reading a book now called Change the World by John Maxwell and he puts in stories about how people of everyday circumstances